So my name is Dr. Fidelma Fitzpatrick and I'm a consultant clinical microbiologist in Beaumont Hospital in Dublin. And today I'm here to talk to you about their new our new campaign on antibiotics because antibiotics are wasted on colds and flus and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, antibiotics are life-saving resources. They have transformed modern medicine in the last 60 years. So a lot of our medicine is now possible because of antibiotics. But it's a bit like the environment. We need to look after them and preserve them. So antibiotics are wasted on colds and flus. And why are they wasted? Because first of all, they won't work. And second of all, if you take something when you don't need it, you run the risk of getting side effects. So the bottom line is they're wasted on colds and flus, but if you have a cold or flu, you can do things for yourself. Well, antibiotics are great at killing bugs called bacteria, not bugs that cause colds and flus. So bacteria cause infections like meningitis. Um, they also cause some chest infections and pneumonia. So that's the kind of example that when your doctor might give you an antibiotic. And there's three really important things to remember if you get an antibiotic. First of all, always take it exactly as prescribed. If it says three times a day, it needs to be taken three times a day. Otherwise, it won't kill the bug. Second of all, always finish the course. Even if you're feeling better a few days later, don't be tempted to stop because what that might mean is you haven't kind of killed the bug, so the bug might start growing again. Mm -hmm. So if it's four, seven days, take it for seven days. And then lastly, never ever store antibiotics at home to use for the next time, because they're very specific. And an antibiotic that kills a bug that causes a kidney um, infection, for example, won't work against a chest infection. And that you may end up doing harm by giving it to a loved one. Well, antibiotic resistance means that the bugs have got clever. And bugs are all around us. They're around in the environment and they're also inside of us and they're meant to be there. And what antibiotic resistance means is that if we keep using antibiotics, the bugs all around us will start getting used to the antibiotics so that when we really need to use an antibiotic to kill them, they just won't work. So this winter, if you or your child have a cold or flu, there's a few things you can do. First of all, stay at home and take some rest. Also take fluids and eat as well as you can because you need nourishment. You may also benefit from some over-the-counter remedies, so talk to your local pharma pharmacist, for example, paracetamol. But lastly, if you're worried at all, or specifically if you have an underlying illness, always talk to your doctor first before you go home and take rest, just to make sure it is a cold or flu and nothing more serious. Now, if you want any further information, there is a patient information leaflet on the HSE website that will explain how antibiotics work and give you examples of how long it will take for you to get better.